Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. Uh, my name is Beth and I'm back again for your health focused March 2015 monthly tarot horoscope. So this is for everyone with their sun, moon or ascendant in lovely Taurus. Um, and um, I've been making my disclaimer saying these recommendations are not meant to prevent, treat or cure any diseases. And um, I'm not a herbalist. Uh, I'm just someone who's done a lot of research about herbs and um, natural remedies and um, I'm providing links to all the all the recommendations that I make uh, for you and I'm splitting it up between guys and girls so because um, everybody's everybody's gonna be different health is so personal it really is but um, I feel feel like doing it this way will give you guys at least um, a leg up and it's doing something a little bit different and um, you know, I hope that you'll get some, you know, something out of it. Um, and, um, so I'm using this herbal tarot deck. It's a deck that, um, is by Michael Tira, who's an herbalist and, uh, the artist is Candice Canton. Um, the thing is, is I've made this deck my own as I usually could see all the writing on it. So there's some things that I've taken out and some things that I've added, um, and, um, you know, I hope you, hope you guys like it. So feel free to message me and email me, um, my email, uh, if you want to do a private reading, even if it's not health related, you want to use one of my other decks or my main deck, uh, feel free to email me Elizabeth Olson 31 at gmail.com. Um, so without further ado, let's see what the month of March has got in store for you guys. Now I will tell you that I just did the Aries video and there's a lot of tension, um, for Aries. And so if you're in a relationship with an Aries, just give them, give them some space. I feel like they're going to need it this month. Um, so I'm just finishing up shuffling and I'm going to roll out to see what you guys get. This is a great, this is going to be um, really great for you guys, especially at the very end of March. Um, so I'm going to start the outcome because it's really amazing. And I, and I, and I have a tendency to tear up every time I, I look at this card. Um, Um, you, and you, you, you know, you may cry too. I, I don't know, but basically there was, um, an extra card in the deck. Okay. That came with the deck and I added something to it. Okay. Um, so you can see it's just kind of just a really pretty setting. Uh, and this is the outcome for you guys, for, for everyone with the sun, their sun, moon, or ascendant in Taurus. Okay. So this is, um, you know, for all my lovely Tauruses, my turtles. Um, it says, the path of the herbalist is to open ourselves to nature in an innocent way, an innocent and pure way. She is, she in turn will open her bounty and reward us with many valuable secrets. Um, may the earth bless you. And I wrote, may the angels bless you for your kindness to nature, for loving others, for being a mother, and nurture to others um, for loving plants and animals. So guys and girls, whether you're a mother or a father, um, whether you nurture others, you know, this is, it says to me, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. It shows that you've been really, that you are one of those people that is a nurturer to others. And this is the the outcomes. Some of you may actually end up going into the healing arts business, or some of you are maybe being like thinking about um, natural natural remedies or herbal treatments, or you may be thinking about naturopathic medicine, or you may be thinking just outside of the box when it comes to your your health or about medicine in general. This is this may be something that really. Um, that really is, is part of who you are. You know, I always say Taurus females, especially are the, the natural, um, uh, they're really great moms, you know, um, Taurus males, really great dads, you know, they too, I mean, they're just very nurturing and caring. And this, this shows me that you really, 
you really have spent a lot of time caring for others and you've spent a lot of time, you know, taking care of, you know, maybe a garden or, you know, just spending a lot of time outside. Um, you're going to be spending time outside. If you haven't, if you, if you haven't been spending a time because you've been, it's been winter where you live, you know, this is spring, you know, this is springtime and I feel like you're going to be getting outside and maybe planting and, um, but this is just, and this is a blessing to me that the earth is, is giving back to you and is saying, you know, thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what you do do. And it's enough that you do this. And we, and it's sort of like the trees are saying, we recognize this in you, Taurus. We recognize that you have a natural gift um, of healing. Um, so I feel like some of you are going to be walking down a new path. This is a new path. This is, um, a path that maybe you're not expecting, or maybe it's a path that um, has been coming for some time, or maybe it's just you're really coming into a blessed period of time in your life where you're very, very much um, being blessed by Mother Nature um, and and the angels and the fairies. I mean, they're all recognizing that you that you may have a green thumb, or you may just really connect with the natural world, which I think. It's, it's Taurus is generally do, but um, for you who are watching this video, you, um, you know, you're going to be blessed for for really tending to others, caring for others. Um, I feel like some of you may be caring for someone who's who's elderly, um, or um, there's someone who's older around you. Um, you know, maybe whatever it is that you. Um, you, you know, you've put in your time, I feel, Taurus. So the end of March, I feel like it's going to be a really blessed time for you. Um, beginning of April, it's going to be like, you're just going to feel so different um, than you do now. Um, so, um, so that's just a great, great place. Um, you're, to me, it feels like you're having the complete opposite type of month that Aries is having. Um, but I feel like, you know, it's just many, many blessings, many, many blessings, blessings and health too. This is good health. This is amazing health, feeling good. You know, maybe you haven't felt so good, but this is, um, this is, this is feeling good. Um, now this is the distant past and the distant past there, this is the five of pentacles. So not all of you, but some of you may have been just having some long sleepless nights, you know, um, ha may have had some financial difficulty or struggle. Um, you know, some of you may have been going through the dark night of the so-called the dark night of the soul or a period of seven years during the Saturn return or Saturn may have really screwed you up. Okay. Um, for the last couple of years. Um, and this is someone who's, mm, just, you know, has the, the stress of survival, okay, on their mind. Um, it says, uh, to move, to move, and I'm sorry, I wrote to move and to move again and again, to face joblessness, the stress of survival. Um, you need to use the, the affirmation, I am abundant, okay? I am abundant. I have the most amazing job. I have, you know, an overflowing bank account. I have... <clears throat> an amazing relationship or an amazing partner and amazing children. I have, you know, my, my cup runneth over full of emotions. I have great health. Say those things. And you will, I mean, to me, it feels more just like you, I feel like some of you are having like a little bit of insomnia. You're so wired you know, that you really have or had or it may still be having a little bit difficult time sleeping because you also have the moon shortly thereafter. Um, and the moon is just feeling like at night, very lonely or at night, you know, feeling quite moody. This is melancholy. This is having a deep longing, feeling like incomplete in some way. Um, you know, your the sex life isn't that great. Um, there's, you know, there may be distance in, in your relationships. There may be some distance in, um, you know, if you have a partner, there may be some distance between you. you may feel like 
some distance has come between you where there's something going on that you're not connecting entirely. You get this close, but you're just not. And then maybe the distance is, is more like this now. It's like a cavern. You know, it's just like um, you're, you may be communicating, but it may feel, it feels more like a roommate situation now. Your roommates kind of come and go. You do your own thing. You know, you're still partners and you're still supportive, but it's just like the fire's gone. You know, that's kind of what it feels like to me. Um, the passion is, is, is has kind of dwindled, okay? But I feel like there's this, you've been going through, you were going through a very kind of, I wouldn't, I don't even like to use this dark phase where it's just kind of like a phase where at night you get very stressed out. At night you, you very much just... <sighs> not you're just not feeling it um so the i i posted a link i think for one of the other signs mugwort is the recommendation here mugwort you get a smug or smudge stick um and that's what i have i just take little pieces of it and i burn it in my little urn so um, get a mugwort smudge stick. I will be posting that for you. I feel like you still need that, even if maybe in a distant past, you know, you weren't sleeping and you're sleeping better now. It's always good to have that on hand. Um, lemon balm is the recommendation here. Um, and, okay, so this is also to have um, coldness in a relationship. I was talking about how not having a fire, you know, feeling like someone cares very little about you. Um, or the truth is kind of hidden from you. Whatever truths you feel like, some of you may be kind of having um, trust issues, you know, where someone's going somewhere and you don't trust them. You know, you don't trust fully what they're doing. Um, this is where, you know, people, and I don't recommend doing this, people get all about somebody else's cell phone, right? You go into their cell phone, you start looking at what they're doing, what they're texting, all that stuff. The minute you start doing it, the trust has been broken. It's not good. Um, because you need to trust. You need to trust. That's what trust is. It's believing that somebody is telling the truth. Right? Uh, if you stop believing that someone's telling the truth by going through their phone, the trust has been broken. Already. It's not a good sign. I feel like some of you have done that and... Um, The truth's going to come out. The thing is, is the truth's going to come out no matter what. So you need to, like, let go of this need for truth. You need to let go of your need to know, okay, what that other person's doing, where that person is at all times, or da 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 If they're going out, you know, if your partner's going out, let him go out. Let him go. Don't ask him where, you know, you don't have to ask him where he was or what he was doing unless he volunteers to tell you. And then... And then, you know, if you catch him lying for some reason, then you know he was lying. But don't go into that, where were you, what were you doing, why did you tell me, where you were, what you were doing, and da 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 Because it's not going to serve anything. It's going to make them feel like they have to report into you. And it's just reporting in, this is not good. It's more just like you want someone to want to be with you, to want to live with you, to want to have their relationship. And it creates kind of like friction and tension when it's all like needing to know. And Taurus is like, <sighs> Tauruses have control issues. Tauruses like control. Tauruses are the people that will call you 50 times a day to find out what you're doing. And Taurus, you need to let up. Okay, you need to ease up a little bit on that. Because um, it's very it's very uncomfortable for someone to... to, to um, it's hard to build trust when you're in a relationship like that. And it's hard, it's uncomfortable for someone to have to report in or tell you everything. Unless, you know, I mean, unless, here's the thing. You, I mean, Tauruses are very status quo, okay? They're very much one track, okay? If you know someone is cheating, then you need to leave the relationship. That's it. Don't try to catch them. Don't try to look in their phone. Don't try to prove it to them. You don't even need a reason. You just know that they're cheating, and that's it. Um, if there's not cheating involved, if there's just, like, this need to, like, control, you need to ease up, okay? Um, 
you're just I feel like some of you are going down this road where you are you're trying to be you're trying to you there's a combination it's like there may you maybe suspect cheating but there's always also your need to control you've got to just either you trust your partner not to cheat or you don't that's it um, women get women get caught up too too much in the questioning, the interrogation, the, you know, where, where were you? What were you doing game? You know? And it's, even if they, even, cause so it's going to cause the lie. It's naturally going to cause the lie. You know, um, they're going to naturally lie to you and be like, well, I was here when they were really someplace else. Cause they don't want to get caught, you know? So they're going to try to slip and slide. And it's like, the more you try to like, force them to tell you the more they're going to lie. And it's just a vicious cycle. So it's not going to help the situation any by trying to, to catch them or trying to corner them. Women make natural detectives. If you know that there is some truth issue going on, you need to just say, okay, I know that you've been cheating. I know that you've been lying. I know that this isn't good. I don't, I know that this is not healthy for me. So I'm going to leave, you know, peace the fuck out. That's what you got to do. You can't stay in something where you're going to go through all these fights and all this crazy shit just because you want to try catching them. No. If you know that they're cheating, it's over. That's it. Don't stay with them. Don't give them another chance. I don't care if you feel like he's the soulmate of the universe or, you know, whatever. If she's the soulmate of the universe. Okay? This is, goes both for guys and girls. Okay? This is not just, I am mean, not saying, you know, one or the other. Guys and girls can be guys, you know, you feel like somebody cheated on you and you're doing the same thing and you're questioning, you know, I feel like it's slightly more on the female side where they're doing the interrogation. But, um, for you guys, you know, male Tauruses can be very controlling. So just ease up, ease up on that. Okay. Um, now also guy, male Tauruses, you may have had, you may be um, dealing with some blood sugar issues. Okay. And this is the king of wands. Okay. Now, um, <laughs> it's interesting because you may think of the king of wands and like the technical tarot as, as I think the king of wands is as like having an Aries ascendant. So in this instance, maybe you're a Taurus, you have an Aries, Sagittarius or Leo ascendant. Okay. You may. Okay. So I think of the king of wands as having some kind of ascendant or they may be a fire sign okay where their sun sign is also um, leo sagittarius or aries um but in this deck it doesn't really work that way in this deck it's more about the the medicine okay and it's more whether the card is male or female okay so in the male this is a male taurus in male taurus is you're having some blood sugar issues Okay. You're struggling from poor digestion. Uh, you need to take the cinnamon bark capsules from Gaia Herbs. They're really good quality. Um, you know, um, I had suggested in one of my other videos taking them, spreading them out during the day. So like one in the morning, one in the afternoon, one in the evening. Or start off with just like one capsule and see how you feel. Or two capsules. I usually recommend two capsules. And see how you feel. Okay. Now, if you're like... If you're like a diabetic, you need to talk to your doctor about this, taking this stuff, okay? Um, talk to a naturopath. Go see a naturopath and talk to them about this. Um, or do some research on this before you take this, okay? That's the cinnamon bark. Um, if you're also having poor digestive issues, you may want to start taking some enzymes, um, which people don't do enough. Enzymes are amazing, okay? Okay. Um, there's so many different ones out there, but I'm going to post a recommendation to one of the, the brands that I like, and um, and you can try that if that's what you want. Um, now, what you don't see coming is the Temperance card. Um, this, is the, this is for female Tauruses, okay? So female Tauruses, you need to... Um, Work on, I feel like, I 
I feel like you're being tested. You're going to be getting tested in the month of March, mid mid March, even earlier March. You may be feeling just like you're getting tested. It's an anger and temper issues, needing to overcome tests of strength and endurance, being the bigger person or the light in a tough family situation, um, a challenging family with much conflict and fighting, um, to overcome abuse or domestic violence, um, bitterness and resentment and jealousy from people, friendships, family, to limit your exposure to angry people or to negative influences. Um, this is a time where you need to choose your battles carefully, Taurus. Um, don't poke, okay? Don't, because I see some of you like poking, okay? And poking is where you just like kind of pick a fight for you. You say something and it instigates, you know, pisses somebody off. You know it's going to piss them off. That's what poking it. You know just where to poke, you know, push the buttons. It's don't push buttons. Tauruses can be, can know intuitively where to, where people's buttons are. Um, it says prone to fighting, to prone to fighting back. Okay. Um, now this card is echinacea. Okay. Echinacea is, um, in a uh, natural antibiotic works. It would be great in combination with olive leaf and it's great for inflammation. Um, this is tension. I feel like this is tension and this is um, temper and this is temper. Um, normally, Tauruses are very steady as she goes, but for some reason in March, you may be sort of pushed to your brink, okay? And when Tauruses explode, you know, they become the raging bull and it's not pretty, okay? Um... You want to make sure this doesn't happen, okay? You want to make sure you're, again, limiting stressful situations, limiting your time with stressful people. If there are people in your midst that are causing you frustration and tension, don't let them get to you, okay? My brother used to say that to me all the time, and it really, really, really drove me crazy, okay? Because I'd be like, well, it's going to get to me. You know, it does get to me. I am a sensitive creature. You know, I'm an empath, you know, so... <laughs> he'd always be like, well, if, it, if he just didn't let it get to you, Beth, you'd be fine. And, it, like, he would poke. He'd push the button. He knew exactly where to push, and I'd respond to react. And the thing is, is, like, there are people around you that know they're pushing your buttons. And I, I feel like you need to go outside and put your feet in the water. She's putting her feet in the water. Take, you know, baths. Put your feet in the water. Take long showers. Um... Go down to the river, go down to a pond or lake or, you know, beach, anything with water, Taurus. Go down, connect with the water, Put your stick your toes in. Um, I know it's still kind of really cold in some places, um, so a bath may just be necessary at your, ha at your house. Maybe getting, like, a pedicure um, would be good for you. Just, you need to, like, to not, again... Not to let the people that are around you that are causing, that are pushing your buttons or causing you stress to push you to your breaking point because it's not healthy when you get there, Taurus. It's not healthy at all. Um, now, I, I, now, this card that's like crossing you, okay, is the Nine of Pentacles. And I said in this card, this is actually good health, okay? So good health is crossing you. It says good health can always be improved. Um, consider grape, okay, grape seed extract, grape seed oil, grape root tincture, okay, um, which is great for iron deficiencies, grape seed tincture, it's good for high cholesterol, powerful antioxidant against cancer, poor circulation, nerve damage, and healing wounds. Um, so the grape, it says overall good health is abundance of wealth um, and family, and this is a woman of means, okay, so female Tauruses, you may come into some money, you know, or you financially, things may be very good in, in um, March for you, you know, financially, you know, this woman is, you know, harvesting these grapes, you know, and to me, grapes are, you know, they're around, so they're like coins, you know, so harvesting money, and this is pentacles, so it's, um, it's good. You know, you may want to eat grapes. So there's a lot going on with grapes. The grape is very healthy. 
Um, grape juice can be an issue. Um, I feel like for some of you Tauruses, you need to have like a glass of red wine or a glass of white wine um, to help relax you. I think that would help. Although these other tinctures are going to be good and I am going to post them. But I feel like in the month of March, you know, you need to kick your heels up at the end of your day and have a glass of wine and relax and don't let anything get to you and just, you know, take a long shower or bath before you go to sleep, spend a lot of time in there. You don't have to, it's not like, I don't want you to rush through it. You know, I don't want you to be like, it's not like a cleaning session where you got to like clean, 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 and leave. No, I want you to take your time. I want you to relax. That's what you need to do. Um, okay. So in the position of emotions, you need to have hope. Okay. This is the saffron card. I think of it as a saffron card. Okay. Um, and saffron, and this is for male or female Tauruses. Okay. This is the three of wands. It says you need to have hope. Take heart. The long journey is almost over. Um, and I wrote, enjoy cooking with saffron, seafood, um, going on vacation or taking a cruise. It says your lover will return. This is if you're single and you're, you're waiting for someone to come back. Or this is if, um, you know, someone's gone away and you haven't seen them. Maybe somebody's been overseas and you're waiting for them to come back. And they, they're going to be back. They're going to come back. Okay. It says the two of you will reunite. Um, there's only a little waiting left to do. So for some of you, you're waiting on something. I feel like you've been waiting on something. Something is like cooking. You've got something cooking. Okay. And um, emotionally, you're caught up in it. Emotionally, you're just like anxious. You're anxious. You're high anxiety right now. And you're just like, when, you know, when is this ship going to come? You know, you're waiting on that ship. And it seems like that ship is taking forever. Um, but, and Tauruses are generally very patient, but if you're waiting on something like this, then, um, it may just be, you know, it's irritating you. It's adding to your irritation or your frustration. Um, and it's so funny because the next card it says is the plantain. Okay. Um, uh, and this is justice. Okay. But it says, and the plantain plant is really awesome, by the way. Um, it says, prone to anger and irritation, um, to make things um, right, or the need for things to be made right, um, and for things to be made right by someone else. Plantain herb is great for inflammation, bladder infections, hepatitis, um, infections and wounds. Um, comes in a tincture and also comes in loose leaf tea. And this to seek the answers, to seek answers and to find them. Needing to calm down after a major upset. Legal issues. Some of you, um, the decisions are going to be made in March. Some of you are going to be getting a divorce. Some of you are going to be looking for answers and finding them. Okay. Um, some of you need may be needing to hire an attorney or have some counsel, some legal counsel in some way. Um, but this is you know, you may you may feel like you know some you may have some bladder issues, but um, plantain is just really, really cool. Um So, so for some reason, you know, something may upset you, you know, again, you've got this temper with the justice. So it feels like coming when they put them together, it feels like female Tauruses, you may have be going through some legal issues. You may be going through divorce. You may be going through a breakup. You may be stressed out and irritated. The word irritated really vibes with you in March and that's not good. Okay. But it's this too shall pass. I feel like you're going to be irritated or frustrated for a period of, of time, maybe a period of like two or three weeks. And then by the end of March, you're going to get to this great, you're going to get to the great, great point um, where you made your decision where, you know, things aren't getting to you like they were before. Okay. Um, so for the guys, the guys need to work on adding more fish and seafood into their diet. I'm feeling like you guys should try some bouillabaisse soup, okay? 
I don't know why I'm getting that. Some fish soup. I think you guys would really like it. Add some saffron in there. Um, and it's funny because, okay, so you've got this interesting card for, again, this woman is dipping her foot into the water. This is the page of cups. This is another attitude, okay? It's the page of cups. And the page of cups in this deck, again, it's different than other decks. The herb on here is, uh, I can't ever say it right, Damiana, okay? And Damiana is a known aphrodisiac, okay? So this is like, maybe you're feeling like, maybe having, you may be in a relationship where you feel like you need to turn things on more, or you're just not feeling it as much, you know, or you're not into it as much. So you need to try some aphrodisiacs, okay? Oysters, avocados, in improving your diet is going to help. Um, the Damiana is incre it's great for circulation. It's a natural aphrodisiac. Um, it's kind of get, kind of get things started again. If you're a female, um, it says it's great for your, if you have fibroid issues, um, can also be if you're younger, um, you know, young Taurus, so you may be a young, passionate youth, um, easily aroused into action um, basically or on any level, you may be amorous, um, you know, whether it's amorous business or otherwise. So some of you, some of you are having circulation issues. You're just not feeling into it. Okay. Into sex. And you need to try some Damiana or some aphrodisiacs. Some of you may be on the other extreme where, you may be one, you know, youthful Taurus, and you're going, you're ready to go, and you have a very strong uh, sex drive, okay? And you kind of, you have the get up and go. You have that. So for some of you or older Tauruses, you may still have get up and go, but it may not be like it used to be for you, where you don't feel like doing it very much anymore. You don't feel like doing very much of anything anymore. And so you need circulate, you need to kind of get your engine started again. Um, so Damiana will help. Um, there's different, um, I think the Damiana comes in a tincture through Hawaii Farm, which I will post. And I think there's also capsules that you can buy as well. So it comes in both. Um, I will post both. It also says, so for some of you, you may need to lose weight to counteract hormone issues in both men and women. So for some of you Tauruses, there's some weight issues, okay? I feel like for you guys, um, too, you may have some, oh, you may be slightly overweight. This could be a Taurus of any age. Tauruses do like to enjoy the finer things in life, and eating is one of those things Tauruses enjoy. So male Tauruses, you may be a little bit overweight and you may need to kind of revamp your diet, okay? Um, female Tauruses also may need to work, work on your weight, you know, exercise more. Um, but also you need to take some of this Damiana to get your kind of engine going and uh, will help with circulation um, issues. Um... And then, obviously, we had already talked about this outcome. So I feel like some of you are going to become healers. Because I think one of the first things that I got was this card. When I shuffled it back in, I completed it, completed my deck, and I did a spread for myself, and this is what I got. And so um, some of you may be doing something similar to what I'm doing. Um, or you may be very much interested in herbs and natural medicine or healing. And um, you're going to get a lot of blessings end of March, so it's coming. So whatever financial stress you might have or whatever sleep issue might, you might have, I feel like that's coming, that's coming to an end. Um, you may, it may come and go. Um, you know, your health can be always improved upon by having, doing more stuff with grapes Grape seed extract, um, grape seed oil, grape root tincture, um, and I feel like the female Tauruses may need, may want to take some echinacea to kind of boost their immune system because of all the stress. 
Um, but I think that's it. That's all that I'm getting. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'll be back uh, with more videos for you guys. And, um, you know, thank you so much for all your lovely comments. Feel free to email me. Um, if you want to set up a private reading again, it's Elizabeth Olson 31 at gmail.com. All right. I'll be back. All the best. Big hugs. Big kisses. And I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.